Je suis où Ça a fait. Let's start from the beginning. Yes. You were born in Canada, right? From the beginning, you were... I was born in Montreal, Canada. Do you do you remember living up there? Oh yeah. 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 I remember. I uh, when I was about seven, we moved to Miami, and around this time, I didn't really understand it, but my parents were separating. My dad was staying in Canada. My mom was going to Miami. Um, so I have a lot of memories being there before we left. But one good thing my mom did was for years, she would always send me back to Montreal for the entire summer. So I spent my summers there up until I was like in my late teens. So my entire life, I still know what it's like to be up there and you know, hang out with my family, my cousins, and everything. So, um, you know, was, Montreal is definitely still. Was it a culture shock moving from Montreal to Miami? Oh yeah, it was definitely a culture shock. I mean, I remember because I remember back then, English wasn't my first language. You know, French was my first language. Creole was the language you speak at home. You know, so then when I moved to Miami, you know, I didn't understand what the what everybody was saying. And I remember being mad young, <laughs> like like six or I think it was six or seven that my mom enrolled me into my first elementary school and it was a Catholic school. And apparently one day I just really just couldn't take it. I didn't I didn't understand what was going on. I didn't understand the language and I threw a big tantrum and I just was jumping on people's desks. <laughs> At school? <laughs> At school. <laughs> Jumping on their desk, saying obscene things in Creole or French, and they call my mom like, um, Dominique, can you come get your daughter and never bring her back? Thank you. <laughs> so that was like my first elementary experience. But I, I have to commend your mom for still teaching you Creole, though. Yeah. Because your Creole is good. Like yeah, having good. living, having lived here your mm -hmm. almost your entire life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, your Creole is pretty much. Yeah. Well, awesome. my grandma, my grandma too. Like my grandma plays a big role. It's because, always the grandma. Yeah, it's the grandma. My mom, she spoke Creole too, but you know, then she infused English because you know I had to learn how to speak that. She didn't really keep speaking French with me, so I lost a lot of my French. But Creole was spoken in the household, and then my grandma, like, you know, you're grandma always a grandma. Grandma didn't speak English, mm -hmm. and her French is horrible, so she spoke Creole. And so it, it just kept that balance with me where I never, never lost it. And I'm happy I never lost it because it's just such a beautiful language. <laughs>